Hey, what's up all? It's Jono here, and welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. And you know what? Let's just dive straight into the game. Because we've got another Pokemon to uh, quell. Although apparently it doesn't seem to be too bad right now in terms of the Pokemon that needs quelling. Uh, what was it called? Avalug, I think it was called, the Pokemon? In the Alabaster Iceland. But we figured it's still our duty to... Uh, help out Pokemon in any way we can. So we're going to head off to the Alabaster Iceland. So, uh... Ooh, and reports of one of those mass outbreaks. Okay, well, depending on what kind of outbreaks there are. Uh, just a bunch of Celio, Not really that interested. So I'm definitely not going to head to the, uh, the Cobalt uh, Coastlands. Instead, we're going to head to the Alabaster Icelands. And, yeah, perhaps unsurprisingly, it's a part of Hisui, which obviously becomes Sinnoh. A part where it will become... You know, that where the likes of Snow Point City will eventually uh, appear. So, yeah. I expect it to be very chilly up there, but uh, you know what? I've got my Typhlosion. I've got my nice, warm, uh, cuddly Typhlosion with me. So, we are, we should be alright uh, keeping uh, the cold off of ourselves at the Alabaster Iceland. So, let's head there and see what we got. The Snowfield Camp. Alright. And I have to admit, I don't remember much of this game from this point on. And I'm starting to think, if I remember rightly, maybe I didn't... I think I got to a certain point in this game when I first played it and I just stopped for whatever reason. And I have a feeling it was up to this bit because this does not ring any bells to me, so I have a funny feeling that I'm more or less going in blinds now. But hey, this might make this let's play more fun. <laughs> My word, it's rather chilly here, isn't it? Glad to see you've made it safe and sound in any case. Very few venture to these Alabaster Icelands, apart from Taohua leading the odd supply core excursion to gather materials. Ah, oh, so that's what he does, eh? But the Survey Corps, of course, must go anywhere that Pokemon are found. Indeed. From what I gather, Ice Peak Arena, where you'll find Avalug, is rather far off, I'm afraid. But that's okay, because I want to do a ton of exploring before we get there, so... I am not worried about that, Laventon. Doubtless this mission will... Uh, doubtless this mission to tackle Avalug will be another dangerous one. Learn all you can from Irida and Adamant to try and keep yourself safe. Well, I mean, shouldn't be too bad. Jono! Brisk out here, isn't it? Oh, thanks for auto-advancing, game. How aren't you freezing? Freezing? I'm practically sweating. <laughs> if you think this is bad, just wait. This is nothing compared to where we're headed. You know, I'm beginning to think the problem between us isn't a Diamond Clan thing or a Pearl Clan thing. It's just a you and me thing. We'll never see eye to eye on anything, will we? <laughs> I don't see how we could, as long as you and your clan cling to your vision of an almighty sinner that reigns over time. Forgive my bluntness, but if such a being even does exist, it's certainly not almighty sinner. Yes, yes, believe what he wants, just tell us where we have to go. We're headed to see my teacher, and he's only ever found in one place. Okay, uh, yeah, which is? Uh, you're talking about that, uh, oh god, Gar Garrick fellow, right? Where do we find him? That's probably not how you say his name, but we're going to go with Garrick. And Avalug's legacy, obviously. Where else but uh, a great mass of ice could I have meant when I said we'd be headed somewhere even colder? Where else indeed? Ready to go, Jono? Well, I mean, sure, but as I said, it's a new area and I want to do some exploring. Sure, stomp off without me! This is why I can't stand people who only care about whether time is passing them by. Ah, see you at Avalug's Legacy, Jono. Take care on your way. I will, but, um, are we getting control now? Yes, we are. Uh, Laverton, if you are feeling rather chilly, um, I have Typhlosion here. Here you go. There you go. Yeah? No? Well, you're right now. You're not. You're not that cold. Well, you got a nice fire here, so I don't know. Just 
I was going to try and leap into it, but sadly, I don't think I can. Oh, I'm totally trying to leap in the fire. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Uh, anyway, new area, so let's have a quick look at... Well, first of all, let me just make sure... I'll do a quick bit of inventory management. In fact, I will do that right now. So, uh, oh yeah, that's right. I need to collect a ton of medicinal leaks for one of the requests, which I will eventually get to, but for now, I'm just going to dump some of these items away. Will I need any more Pokeballs? Um, I suppose it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to do. Let's just craft a few more Pokeballs. Why not? Uh, so, let's not craft too many Ultra Balls. Let's craft another 10. That should do enough. And maybe some more Leaden Balls. I need to start using these more often. I've been kind of neglecting them if I'm just sneaking up to Pokemon. So, let's make a few more of these. Uh, I'll just... I'll just have a nice round 20 of them. That should be fine. Uh, I've got 14 revives. That's fine. Ooh, max potions. I forgot I can make those now. And I can actually craft those because they just require a citrus berry and a king's leaf. Ooh, okay. Do you know what? It might be worth it because I'm not using like the citrus berry and the king's leaf or anything else. So you know what? In an emergency, I'll craft 10 of them. Screw it, I'll craft 10 of them. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm also going to use some more of these. So uh, let me just craft a few more super uh, hyper potions, rather. Uh, oh, wow, I've got loads of standard potions. You know what? I think we're just going to use as much of this as possible. So let me just craft the super potions and then turn them into... Uh, I'll, I won't change all of them. I'll, I'll leave a few super potions just in case. But that'll do for now. And yeah, let's have a look at the map. No, that's not the map. That's the map. Okay. Oh yeah, this is a pretty big area. So let's see what we've got. Lots of lost satchels again. Uh, we've got a, a request up here. Ah, I wonder if that request is for the other camp. It's possible. So we got the other camp there. The, slumber, blah, 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 the slumbering lord of the tundra. There's our main mission. And another lost satchel here. Oh, Snowpoint Temple. Ooh, okay. Cool. Right, okay. So, well, we won't be heading that way anytime soon. So, I guess it's just a case of doing some exploring. And see what kind of Pokemon we have. So, you know what? Come on out, weird dear. We are going to have a little run around and see what we can find. Oh, man. I tell you what. It may look chilly, but at the same time, it looks kind of nice as well. Also... We're almost blending in here. If I if I wasn't there, let's see. I'm blending in here. Totally blending in. You can't see me. No, nope, hang on. <laughs> nah, that didn't work. Ooh, although. Uh, Slagoo, can you just crack that open for me, please? Thank you very much. Grab some stardust while I'm at it. I also did see a berry tree. I'll grab that in a minute. Oh, Apom. Oh, hi. Hi. Hey there, buddy. Okay. Right, okay, I mean, sure. Wasn't expecting a palm, but yeah, alright, sure. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I thought that was a lot deeper. Oh, hi. I just wanna play, do you? You just wanna play? Alright, we'll play. Alright. <laughs> we'll just play. Yeah, forget doing a whole episode. I'm just gonna play with a palm for the entire episode. Also, turn on the, um,. Hold me. <laughs> I was literally throwing that blind. Oh, snow runs. Well, it looks like you don't seem to care too much about me. I'm going to see if I can sneak you up on you. I'm going to be all very sneaky, sneaky like. No, I'm not going to be sneaky, sneaky. No, you, you see nothing, snow runs. But do you even care that I'm around? No, you just don't seem to care. Boop. There we go. Also, once again, I keep pressing the wrong bloody button. There we go. Nice. New Pokemon caught. Actually, I don't think I'm going to be too far off from ranking up. So, I think once I've... Uh, I think once I've gotten... A decent amount of Pokemon caught... I might see whether I've got enough to rank up. Because... It's actually getting some new, like, crafting recipes for certain items could be potentially very useful. Whoa! It's a bit of a drop, but it's fine. You know what? 
as you're just chilling around here. You know what? I've got so many of these heavy balls still to use, so I'm just going to somehow sneak around you. No, no, no. You see absolutely nothing behind you. No, you saw absolutely nothing. No. <laughs> totally didn't see anything behind you. Wow. Did you see it? Hang on. Numbers. Number you've caught without being spotted. How was I not spotted? Wait, maybe I'm maybe I am so good at camouflaging myself into this uh, snow in this like tundra after all. Very nice. Anyway, uh, another a pom. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong bloody button. Ooh. Sneaky, 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 sneak. Even though I'm literally only using a heavy ball, so it might just break out of that. No, no, it didn't. Nice. Cool. Yeah, sorry. Sorry about that. I caught your buddy, didn't I? But you know what? It wouldn't hurt grabbing some uh, tumble stone. Also, it wouldn't hurt if I can catch at least one more snow run. So that will get myself... Uh, reach another target in terms of Pokemon Court. So, don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Thank you. Nice. Excellent. Uh, obviously, I need to go that way, but come on. We want to do some exploring. I want to see what's in this nice icy cave. Crevasse Passage. Ooh, I will grab some iron chunks, though. Let's not completely run out. Like, going crazy, because I want to see what kind of Pokemon we have here. And indeed, there is a Pokemon right there. I'll be honest, I cannot remember what Pokemon that is because, yeah, I'm definitely still more of an old school Pokemon gamer. Like, my first game was Pokemon Yellow. And I pretty much grew up with the first, like, four or five generations of Pokemon. And although I have played a lot, most of the Pokemon games since then, I am definitely nowhere near as familiar with some of these Pokemon. Anyway, I'm just going to use an Ultra Ball on you because I am not going to try and sneak up on you. Bergmites, that's what you're called. Ooh, what kind of Pokemon's going to live in there? You know what? I'm going to use Typhlosion just in case it's a nice type Pokemon. Oh. It is. A startled Bergmite popped out. Oh, it's only level 35. Um, hmm. This might be somewhat overkill, but you know what? I'm just going to walk a little bit further back. All right. Not like that battle we had uh, recently with um, with my tall Terra and that poor uh, Bonsly. <laughs> Okay, uh, that's heading more or less towards a dead end. Let's see what else we've got up here. I've got Sneasel in my squad still, but honestly, I'm probably going to replace it with another Pokemon at some point. Depending what I find around here. But if we're potentially going against an Avalug, if I remember rightly, isn't it like part ice and part rock type? As if so, probably wouldn't be a bad idea if I can find, like, like make use of a fighting type Pokemon. Hmm, we'll see. Anyway, uh, where are we? <laughs> Is that just literally another way round to get across to here from where we started off from? Because it wouldn't have been a big deal because I could I could have just simply uh, relied on Sneezer. Did someone just... Did someone just jump into that tree before it started... Like, oh, wait, what the heck? Yeah, I saw the A-POM. But it looked like it jumped into the tree, even though it was already shaking. What? Okay, that's weird. What's this? Whoa! Sliding down here. Yeah? But in the meantime, I kind of want to see if I can catch this Buneary, because... I've hardly encountered you. Also, it looks like you're actually asleep. Hmm. Don't mind me, Buneary. Boop! Right in the head. And hide. Yeah, I've only caught three. Yeah, I don't know what that Apom was doing. It looked like it climbed the tree? Or, 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 or did it just look like it climbed a tree? Also, speaking of which, I have no idea what to find in here, so let's have a look. Is it maybe another... Oh, it's another Burmy. Oh, I still need to catch a whole bunch of these Burmy, don't I? Um, I think I've already got you. Am I still missing one Burmy? I can't remember. Anyway, just use Swift, even though I doubt... It's going to survive that, and indeed it didn't, sadly, but never mind. Yeah, we are literally just across the way. I mean, there's a fun diversion to go through there, but at the same time, 
Yeah, kind of unnecessary, apart from, you know, encountering those uh, Bergmite. Man, there's a lot of Apom around here. Ah, hello. Snow Runt. Uh, no, not Snow Runt. Uh, Swine Up and uh, Pile of Swine. Pile of swine, pillar swine, pile of swine. I can't remember. Either way. More new Pokemon, so I'm going to try and sneak up on those Pokemon eventually. But in the meantime, let me just grab some more berries. And go from there. Oh, don't, 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 don't ruin my chances now, eh, Pom? <laughs> also, what is this? It looks like it's all, it almost looks like someone tried to make an igloo, but clearly not. It's weird. Huh. Anyway, let's see if I can sneak up on these Pokemon. Probably not, considering all, they are literally facing me. And Apom, stop trying to sabotage my plans to catch these Pokemon. I, mean, I think that uh, Swine Up is perfectly aware of my presence. Uh, Apom, no, 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 Apom. Sorry, Apom. I'm gonna. I probably won't, you probably won't get caught by that. Oh wow, it actually worked. Sorry, Apon, but you were kind of getting in the way there, so I had no choice but to catch you. Uh, no, 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 you see absolutely nothing. No, no, that's just the long hair on the front of your head, uh, in front of your eyes blocking your vision. That's totally not a random human person, uh, Sneaking up on you. No, 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 no. That's that's totally not it. No, no, no. You're mistaken. You're mistaken. Ah, damn it. Fine. If you're going to be like that. Um, probably not the wisest idea to use Torterra against an ice type Pokemon. But you know what? If I can get at least Sleep Powder on you, that'll be fine. There we go. Nice. Ooh, okay, good job we avoided that. Um, hmm. Maybe I'll just play it safe and use Bite. Yeah, that's not going to work that well, is it, Pilot Swine? Also, isn't the convenient that the computer control Pokemon? Yeah, even though you're drowsy, you're still landing attacks where it was the other way around. There was a good there's a good chance that I would be constantly not being not be able to use my attacks because of the fact that I'm drowsy, so yeah. Thank you for being so biased, game. Oh well. Not the way I wanted to catch you, but you know what? That's fine. At least there's another new Pokemon added to the Pokedex. Okay, more Baneary. Ooh. Ooh, I tell you what, this is uh Somewhat nice, the uh, the sunset here. Very nice glow around here. Also, I wonder if I can just about sneak up on you. Even though you clearly saw where I was, you just don't have a care in the world, do you, um, swine up, do you? Nope, you have literal. Literally zero care in the world. Huh. Yeah, somehow wasn't spotted despite the fact you clearly saw me. Oh, no you don't. Oh, no you don't. I want to catch you as well. Thank you. Right, uh, let's see what we've got. More pile of swine. More swine up. More snow runs over there. Oh. A lot bunny. I don't think I've caught you yet. Also, oh, hello, uh, Baneary. Is it asleep? I can't tell. I can't tell. It's definitely resting. So if I can sneak up on this lot bunny, sit. Pretend I don't exist. Just don't. Just pretend I don't exist. Ooh. Oh, you were... I think you were somewhat aware of my presence, but somehow still managed to catch you. Hmm. You tried to ruin my uh, capture opportunity there, didn't you, uh, Lock Bunny? Indeed you did. Anyway, uh, where are we going? Okay, there is a satchel 
Oops, uh, I didn't mean to go that way. I need to do this way. Uh, apparently there's a satchel on the other side here. So you know what? I'm just going to ignore these Pokemon for now. And I'm going to pick up some satchels. Uh, oh, hello. Glalie. Okay, we have a Glalie around here. Uh, oh, okay. Satchel's a little bit further away than I thought. But that's fine. Okay, more swine up. And... Oh, swine. Okay, now we got Haunter again. I still need to... Ah, lost satchel. Perfect. I still need to find uh, a mischievous for one of the uh, requests. Also, I just realised I think I've just gone around in a big circle. Yes, I did. Okay, well, you know what? That's fine. That is absolutely fine. Also, just jump down here. So I can grab some Vivid Choke. And... Yeah, that... I oh, know. Oh, hang on. I was about to say it. That looks suspicious up there, that little ledge. And sure enough, I see a purple wisp. Hey, hey, Pom. Right, let's go up here and have a little bit of an explore. As I said, I mainly want to do a bunch of exploring for, well, probably for the next couple of episodes, thinking about it. But you know what? That's absolutely fine. Uh. You know what? Yeah, probably worth me grabbing some more Tumblestone because I am admittedly going through quite a few of my um, heavy balls all of a sudden, so I might start. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Hang on a minute. Let's get to the top here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wow. Look at that night sky. Oh, that is so cool. Hang on a minute. Let's see if I can get an epic thumbnail shot. Hang on. Let's let's wait for the moon to move just a little further so I can get that big building in there as well. Ah, you know what? That'll do just nicely. Yeah. Of course, not the highest point around here, but this is still pretty cool nonetheless. Also, that arrangement over there does not stick out like a sore thumb. <laughs> Uh, maybe I should go that way, but seeing as I'm, a, I'm at the top here, I kind of want to do some exploring. Like, where am I? Also, there, there is apparently a satchel around here, so actually, while I am up this way, let's actually see if I can find this poor person's satchel. The fact that someone's lost a satchel around here tells me that there could be something of interest around here. So, let's do this. Uh, ooh, Crobat. Alright, okay, so I think that's the first time we've seen Crobat. Also, I do see something sparkle. Oh, wait. I'm supposed to use my Pokemon on those, uh, like, like piles of snow. I thought it was just there for, for, just, just for the heck of it, but it's not. Oh, boy. Oh, no, that's, uh, going out. <laughs> Probably not a good idea. I just realised I was heading out of bounds there, wasn't I? Yes, I was. Icebound Falls. Okay, well, now that I'm seeing this, let's actually... Uh, let's be a bit more cautious this time. There we go. And let's see what's actually buried in the snow here. Come on out, Sligoo. A snowball? A snowball? Interesting. Also, before I forget... Ooh... Experience Candy XL, very nice. Uh, what was I looking for? Snowball. Let's have a look. Snowball, 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 snowball. A hard ball may have compressed snow. Hitting a Pokemon with one may stun the Pokemon, creating an opening for you to act. Oh, okay, so it's just another one of those stunnable items. Also, apparently I've got some Grit Dust. Yeah, you know what? Might as well use the Grit Dust. Apparently Torterra still needs... Oh, wow, yeah, Torterra needs a significant amount of... Uh, Grit dust, but that's okay. I will boost your... Hmm. I'll boost your attack for now. And uh, let's use Grit Gravel on Sligoo. Because I think I'm going to stick with Sl Sligoo for now, despite the fact I do have that uh, level 70 alpha... Um... Guja. But... I'm going to stick with uh, Sligoo for now, but... We'll see. That might change. Also... Crunchy salt, crunchy salt, and there was some more crunchy salt over here. Nice, okay. Oh, hello. Space time distortion seems to be forming, and I swear I just saw something. 
like appear in, right in front of me. Oh yeah, it's actually not that far away from me. Ooh. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's settled that then. We're definitely going to be checking that out. Uh, in the meantime, oh, I see Electa Buzz down there. More Machoke. And Elekid, okay. And there's another Pokemon down there, but I can't quite tell what it... I can't quite tell what it is. Oh. Uh, someone's angry at me. Who's angry at me? Is it you? Is it you? It's you, isn't it? It's you, Electabuzz. Alright, okay, well, if you want to battle Electabuzz, that's fine. Ooh, oh, yeah, good luck with that. Good luck with using Thunder on a ground type. <laughs> Bulldoze. Ooh, hello. Alright, get the sleep powder on. This is a great opportunity to catch this Electabuzz. Oh, very nice. Ah, oh, the poor thing. The poor thing. You can't do anything using electric attacks on my Torterra. And it looked like Torterra, even Torterra himself was mocking Electabuzz there. Yeah, there we go. Nice. I have caught Electabuzz. Very nice. Also, okay, um, hang on. Espeon, uh, this Machoke is kind of annoying, so, oh, wow. Where are you going? Are you going to try and beat me up? Just for that, I'm literally going to throw a Pokeball almost at your crotch there. So, um, yeah, good luck with that. But you know what, Machoke, if you're going to be a jerk... I'm just going to have to get rid of you because I did see another Pokemon down there, but I couldn't quite see what it was. So I'm just going to sneak up and see what we have. Uh, what? Uh, that wasn't a Pokemon. That was just a plant. <gasps> oh, hello. It's Riolu. Ooh. Oh, I definitely want to catch that. Question is, if it spots me, are you going to run away from me or are you going to challenge me? Oh. I really want to try and catch this Riolu. What level are you? Level 50? Okay. Turn around, Riolu. Turn around. Thank you. Nice. Excellent. Caught Riolu. Wonderful. Ah, okay. Well, I did say I wanted to potentially maybe bring a Fighter-type Pokemon if we're going to be deal potentially dealing with Avalug at some point, and... You know what, with a bit of training, uh, I might uh, try using uh, Riolu. Also, don't mind me, uh, Machoke. I can't remember if I still need to get a bit more data of, uh, of you to uh, complete one of the requests. I think, although, I might have already done it, I can't remember. But either way, um, I was going to say we're heading to a dead end, but is that another cave? I think it is. I would try and catch you, but no, nah, you know what? Yeah, right in the back. <laughs> you should always expect the unexpected, but joke. And yeah, that is totally a cave, but there is going to be a uh, space distortion uh, appearing, space time distortion appearing soon, so I don't want to venture too far, but at the same time, you know what? Curiosity is getting the better of me. Let's have a look. Oh. Hibernal Cave. Ooh, hello. Look at this. Hey, what is this? Ooh. Sadly, I don't think I can interact with it. Okay, now it's appeared. Right, okay. Change of plan. It's now appearing. Um, Typhlosion, I might need your help for this. Even though this space-time distortion would be perfect for Riolu. Uh, how far away from, my, from the camp? Not far... But at the same time, I'm also quite far away from the uh, distortion. Oh boy, hello, hello, um... Oh boy, I've gone into Electabuzz Alley here. Um, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, a bomber, a bomber snow. Yeah, yeah, just ignore me. Okay, that wasn't too far. So, let's see what kind of Pokemon we have around here. Let's brave it. Let's see what we have. Loads of shards. Okay, well, let's just grab as many as we can. Okay, I just saw an Electabuzz spawn. Something else spawned, but I can't quite tell what it was. Oh, Espeon. Ah, huh, okay, cool. 
I mean, I've already got an Aspion, so I don't have any massive... Oh, is that a, seiz a, a sizzle? It is. Probably shouldn't have used Typhlosion, but never mind. Uh, ooh, actually, this is going to be double super effective, isn't it? Hmm. Try Agile style. But I have a horrible feeling it might still be too strong for this uh, sizzle. Oh, no, it's not. Ooh. Okay. Right. That actually worked out very nicely. All right. Yeah. I would like to try and make you, like, sleepy and that. But if I can at least try and catch you without wasting too many of these balls, then I'll be fine with that. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. Oh, I'm totally fine with that. Also, I think a Pokemon may have just spawned behind me. Um, hi, hi, hi. Um, yeah, don't mind me, don't mind me. I'm just having a little wander around. Uh, I think I'm being pursued by... Oh, hi. Yeah, you're totally using an attack, aren't you? <laughs> okay, let's see what we have. So, we have... I think that was a Ponyta. I don't think that was a Rapidash. Uh, okay, so we have... Oh, Tangrowth, more Electabuzz. More Sizzle. Uh, anything else around here? Not yet. I did see an Espeon before, but as I said, I'm in a massive hurry to catch one, but... Oh my! Um, hmm. <laughs> I kind of want to see if I can catch... Well, see if I can catch an of you, but let's just initiate a battle. Uh, Electabuzz, I'm not too... Oh, bless you. you once again trying to use an electric attack. Right, well... I'm going to get rid of you because I can easily catch you uh, near my Electabuzz. It's the Tangrowth I kind of want to see if I can uh, catch. Uh, in the meantime... Try Bite. Ooh, that is going to do standard damage though, so... Let's at the very least see if I can use Sleep Powder. Ah, but of course it doesn't work. I'm going to use Double Hit. That's not ideal, so I tell you what. Use Strong Style Bite. Nom, nom, nom. Wow, that hardly did anything. Yeah, that's going to knock out Torterra, isn't it? Yeah. Damn it. All right, fine. Well, if that's how you get... If that's, if that's the way you're going to be, uh, uh, time growth, then fine. The only problem is I don't really have much good op op options here. Because these uh, Pokemon levels, they're actually somewhat fairly high, actually. Mm, just use a strong quick attack. Uh, Espeon, that might work. Wow, that hardly did anything. Well, I mean, I could try and use an, an Ultra Ball now. I mean, no harm in that. We'll give it a go. And if that doesn't work, then we'll just say, screw it. We'll just uh, defeat it. Nope, we're good. Excellent. Okay, not, not too bad. Not too bad. So another new Pokemon caught. Um, hmm. But other than that, I'm not seeing too many other Pokemon. Oh, hello, Cypher. More Electabuzz. Like, I don't want to hang around here for too long. I want to see whether, at the very least, we there might be some... Ah, I don't have space in my bag. Damn it. Okay. Um, hmm. Uh, can I get rid of something easily? Oh, hang on. Yeah, Grip Gravel. That will do. Uh, Torterra, I'll just give that to you. And also, Grit Dust, just make some room. Just boost all these to at least level 2, and then we'll boost your... We'll boost your speed. Okay, and now we can pick up that star piece. Very nice. Uh, a bit more here, more shards. Oh! Uh, no, okay. That's definitely a Rapidash. Never mind. One's bigger than the other. Um, 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 hang on. Um, 
wait, wait, wait. Hang on. No, no, no. Uh, let's be reasonable here. Oh dear. Okay, double flare blitz attack. Wow, how did you survive that Empoleon? Okay, I was going to see if I could at least catch one of these. Uh, who's the stronger one? You're the stronger one. You know what? I'd say... Get rid of the stronger one. So we can at least focus on one. But I have a... Sneaky suspicion, yeah, this is going to knock out Empolio, but once again, you're using an attack that's going to give you recoil damage. Huh, what are we going to do here, I wonder? I suppose I'll just use Typhlosion. See if I can weaken Rapidash a little bit and then catch it. But I think after that, I'm probably going to have to bail on out of here. Uh, let's see, can I get away with... I could probably get away with using Swift. Uh, yeah, somewhat. Let's use a weaker Swift. Ah, critical hit, of course. Damn it. Well, whatever. And you know what? I think on. Oh no, I have no room. Oh, not again. Um. Hmm. 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 Uh, well, I've got more Grit Dust. I can easily quickly use that right now. So, once again, I'm just going to give that to Torterra. Wow. One of the rare times I'm actually running out of space. I'm probably going to have to, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to have to bail out of this. Uh, more Grit Gravel. I'll grab that very quickly. I think a Pokemon just appeared right beside me. So, I'm going to very quickly do this. Grab the item, and then I'm going to run away. Oh, God. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I like how you're waving your arms at me, Tangrove. Yes, I Yes, I know you're trying to... You, you look like you're trying to be friendly, but clearly you're not. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Um, yeah, it looks like it's just the same Pokemon. We've got Celio, but... I think I... Oh, oh wow, that was weird. Uh, I think we're going to leave it for now. Let me just grab this iron chunk. And I'm just going to ignore the rest of these Pokemon. Especially as I don't really have any room in my satchel. Hang on a minute. Forget those Pokemon. That's a Licky Tongue. I was not expecting Licky Tongue of all Pokemon to be in this game. But sure. Mind you, then again, having said that, of course, he, got an evolved, he had an evolved form introduced in Generation 4. So I guess it makes sense for gear about it. Oh wow, le level 62! Holy moly, level 62! Okay, this Licky Tongue. Can you move out of the way, please? Come on, Licky Tongue. Come on. No, come on. Out the way, out the way. This distortion faded. Yeah, I had a feeling it was going to go soon. Thank you! Yeah, excellent. I'll tell you what, we're doing pretty well with these some of these Pokemon captures. But i got to say, at the same time, these Pokemon levels are a little bit on the somewhat high side. Probably going to have to do a bit more training, I have to say. Okay, more, par another par more pile of swine around here. I suspect you're going to be a similar level to that Licky Tongue. Okay, we've got Glalie. I did see you before, but I kind of completely forgot about you. Uh, more snow runt. Uh, more glaily and... Oh! Ambipom! Alright. But not an alpha one by the looks of it. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, let's just somewhat run away because I think I might have angered a bunch of Pokemon right now. So let's, let's just backtrack a little bit. And yeah, I really don't have any space. Ice Column Chamber. Oh my god, this looks crazy. This is a job for Sneasler. Um, um, yeah, descend. Uh, descend. Thank you. Oh. It was not as deep as I thought it was. <laughs> that was nowhere near as deep as I thought it was. Well, you know what? We're going to have a little wander round down here, seeing as... Well... <laughs> 
I just happen to stumble my way down here. Any uh, interesting... Pokemon? Wait, that's a Mischievous. Wait a minute, that's a Mischievous. I need a Mischievous. Oh, I need this Mischievous. You know, I do need to heal my Pokemon. Uh-oh. Are you going to try and sneak up on me or are you running away? Oh, did you run away? Oh, okay. Well, I do need to heal my Pokemon, so... Yeah. I don't know. Uh, mm -hmm, let me see. I suppose there's no harm in just using some of my revives now. I'm not quite ready to head back to one of the camps yet. Uh, let me actually use my items for once. Let's use a Hyper Potion on you. There we go. And on you. That's absolutely fine. Hey, uh, Mischievous has just gone over there. Okay, you are... You are so, like... Sensitive in terms of trying to spot me. I think I'm going to have to see if I can, like, hide away, but I don't have, I don't have my uh, smoke balls on me. I really want to see if I can catch this mischievous. Screw it, I know that was right in your face, but I don't care. I'm just going to try it. Wow, that actually worked. Okay, cool. And again, I am running out of space here. How did I not get spotted? I don't get this game. I'm pretty sure I did get spotted. Oh, this Alpha Frost last, though. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? You know what? Turn around, please. Thank you. Grab this iron chunk. 72. You know what? Oh... Uh... Not unreasonable, so I'm just going to quickly run away and hide. Yeah, I didn't think that worked. Um, I think on that note, I'm just going to leave you lot alone. <laughs> okay, well, all right, well, you know, that was actually, that was actually worth going down here. I'm pretty sure I probably could have encountered the Mischievous at some point earlier on, but at least I can finally finish that one request. So that's cool. Anyway, let's head up here and say peekaboo to the Lickitungue. Also, it looks like Lickitung doesn't care about me. No? You don't care about me? Actually, I have to say, some of the Pokemon around here seem to be more friendly than some of the ones I've encountered in earlier sections of the game. You just chill. You're, you're totally fine with me. Um, I'm getting a bit close with that tongue there, admittedly. Um, um, yeah. <laughs> you're, just, you're just chilling there. You're just... Okay, fine. <laughs> right. Well, I, well, I'd say the big news is the fact that I've actually managed to find a Riolu, so that's pretty cool. Uh, right. Question is, I do want to head back to the camp at some point, but I at the very least want to do a little bit more exploring. Before we, before we go back. Oh! Oh! Um, Snova. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna try and catch you. I'm gonna try and catch you, Snova. Oh. It's ruined! Also, you're only level 36, so you know what? I think I'm just gonna, um... No, 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 no. Just, just ignore me, Snova. Just ignore me. Just ignore me. No, 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 just ignore me. Or you just... Oh, you just... Oh, you just wanted to play. I think a lot of these Pokemon just want to play. Also, apparently I've... I'm going to Pokeball somewhere. Oh, it's an Amber Palm. I've angered an Amber Palm. Um, hang on a minute. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Oh, I've woken up that uh, Apom. Oh, hello, uh, Purple Wisp. I was not expecting to see you there. Very nice. Also, where am I? Well, obviously that's the arena, but I don't really want to go there right now. But if I head further north, that says to me says to me we might get another camp at some point. Oh yeah, we don't need... Oh, hello! Hi! Hi! I wasn't expecting you. Hello! Hi! Um, right. Okay, this is also looking new. Sand radish. I don't have room for that. Was that the item I needed for the next bit of that, uh... 
request uh, situation. Ah, really, I'm actually, for once, properly running out of space. Well... I suppose I could discard these uh, snowballs. I'll just grab some of these uh, sand radishes. Oh, hey, uh, Machop. What are you doing here? Just chilling as well? Man, these Pokemon love chilling around. Also, there was a slight uh, jump cut there, mainly because I decided to once again record my video on Bin Collection Day. So, yep. Gotta love the sound of noisy, uh, The sound of a noisy bin uh, lorry uh, rock up outside the house. <laughs> anyway, what what's going on here? Everyone's just enjoying what looks like, um... A hot spring by the looks of it. Hi. Yeah, Snowfall Hot Spring. Um, can I join you guys? Can I join you? Are we cool? Are we cool? Can we join? Can I join? Can I join? Yeah? Take some crunchy salt. Are we cool? Yeah, am I cool? Yeah, there we go. Oh, and it's just started snowing as well. Very convenient. Yeah, we're all cool. We're all chill here. Yeah. All right, yeah, we're just going to chill on the uh, hot spring, aren't we? Yeah. There's no need to battle. We're just going to have a nice chill old time. Although I would, but I'm more interested in doing some exploring. Uh, especially considering there is a request nearby, which I suspect is to set up another camp, which I actually wouldn't mind doing before I end this episode. Uh, whoop. There we go. Eh, no problem. No problem at all. Am I nearby the request? Actually, I'm not too far. I'm also very close to another lost satchel. Uh, we don't need Sneasler. We don't need Sneasler. We're fine. Um, we definitely will need Sneasler, but I, did, I just want to grab that iron chunk. And then we want to head up here? Yeah. It'll be around here somewhere. There it is. That's just a gl no, I, I don't want you to climb the tree. What is it? What the, What do you think this is, Sneasler? Assassin's Creed? <laughs> but that, well, in those games, it's more like you just climb up to the top of a tall building or like a flagpole or something. I don't know. I haven't really played any. I don't know. I haven't really played any of the Assassin's Creed games in ages. Um, or maybe it potentially be like Mario. You know, climbing up a tree in like Mario 64 or something. <laughs> maybe that's what that is. Anyway, ooh. Okay, I know I'm being chased by a Pokemon, but I'm just once again distracted by everything around here. Hmm, interesting cave. But I could probably easily break that down through the use of a Pokemon. Okay. Oh, that was... Interesting. A secret hollow. Hmm. Well, no Pokemon in here, but I will take the uh, the purple wisp anyway. That was weird. Why did that take so long to interact with? Usually it's fairly quick, but... That was a little bit slow going. Anyway, I'll grab all these tumble stones while I'm here. Thank you very much, guys. And let's see where that... Oh, <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I didn't want to climb that, and it looked really weird. I'm going to have to re-watch that. Like, I couldn't tell if uh, weird it actually was somewhat tilted to the, to the side there. That was weird. Uh, anyway, lost and found. Let's just return that lost satchel. There we go. And where is the request? Oh, right across here. Ah, there you are. Tell me that it is indeed for another... Uh, base camp. Uh, who are you looking for? Craig? I came to set up another base camp, but I don't spy Craig from the construction corps. I told him to meet me near the base of the falls here in the Alabaster Iceland, so where is he? He's not the type to usually get lost, so I'm honestly a bit worried. Do me a favour, would you find Craig for me? Yeah, sure. Let's activate it right now. We're going to do this immediately because having a second camp will be very good. 
Uh, question is, where are we going to likely to find him? Unfortunately, it looks like we're not going to rely on, like, sense of smell. So we're just going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. Wait, there is someone over there. Also, is that a village? Oh, wait. We did... Wait, looks like that's the person I'm looking for, but I'm getting distracted by the fact that we have a, sne a sleeping uh, Sneasel here. Even though I've got one. Even though I've already got Sneasel. I wouldn't mind catching a few more for the Pokedex. Also, I think someone's trying to chase me. Oh, oh dear. Hi. 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 Yeah. Hi. Hi. Um, sorry. Also, thinking about it, probably wasn't a great idea to bring out uh, Typhlosion because, of course, you're a Hisuian Sneasel, and even though I've got one in my squad right now, I completely forgot what its typing is. Oh, I'm so useless, so, you know what, just for the heck of it, just use Flamethrower. Ooh. Oh, yeah, good luck with using close combat on my Typhlosion. Well, the fact that you're burned, I'm actually going to try and catch you. Screw it. Might as well catch you. Easy. Now that we've got those distractions out of the way, let's actually talk to you because you sound like that you're Craig. One of the Survey Corps, aren't you? Oh, this is, uh... Uh, yeah, I mean, you. I mean, let me guess, are you... Oh, basically you've just lost each other, haven't you? That's what it is, isn't it? He's the one who told me to meet him at the base of the falls and yet he hasn't shown. Um, about that. What? You say he's on the other shore, across the river? I'm glad you came around, or I might have been waiting here until I turned into a block of ice. I'll hurry off to find Bryce, then, so we can get that camp up and running in no time. Fair enough. Excellent. Well, seeing as I'm here, if I can pick these up, at least. No, I can't. I can't pick up the Chesto Berry. I really need to uh, get like clear out my inventory. So the sooner we can get this base camp done, the better. Hey, there you go. All good now. That means we can finally get our second camp on the on the go. Ugh, it's cold as a cup chew snot out here. How do those Pearl Clan people stand it? Ah, I had a feeling it might have been a Pearl Clan because, of course, we encountered the diamond. Um, uh, like the Diamond Clan, like settlement in, um, the Crimson Myland, I think it is. I can't remember now. Anyway, boy, do I owe you for finding Craig for me. Now we can finally get things set up. Well, hey, I am totally uh, happy with having another camp because I can't be bothered going all the way back to the beginning. There we go, setting up the Ice Peak Camp. Excellent. Hey, and right on cue, here's Laventon. <laughs> Goodness, I don't know how the Pokemon living in this frigid place find the energy to dash about as they do. Do they have a nice layer of insulating fat, perhaps? There must be some trick to it. Uh, could be that. Or I could, you know, I could just once again bring out Typhlosion. There you go. If you want to warm up, I'm sure Typhlosion will offer friendly cuddles to you, Laventon. Also, apparently you've got a request again. I mean, I might as well take it now, even though I'm probably not going to immediately do this request. Partly because I am going to wrap up this episode in a bit. It's so cold, I can't even feel my fingers. I can't work like this. I just want to earn my way up through the ranks. But to do that, I've got to at least warm myself up enough to uh, feel my fingers. Do you, do you think you could bring me a Pokemon that's good at manipulating flames, that it could keep our fire roaring for me? Okay, any particular Pokemon? Oh, just catch a Fire-type Pokemon. Li is that literally all I need to do? Just give you a Fire-type Pokemon? Okay, sure. I mean, I don't really have any duplicate cat uh, catches here, but... I can probably... Like, you know what? There were plenty of... Ma there were plenty of Magmar fouled on um, that island in the in the coastland. So you know what? I'll give you a magma. I'll give I'll, I'll give you this magma. 
I'm already feeling much warmer thanks to this Pokemon of yours. Now I can focus on my work. Though, now that I'm so warm and comfortable, I seem to... Uh, find my eyelids drooping. And off he goes. Magma, do us a favour. <laughs> Give him a slight little... Burn on his arse or something, I don't know, to wake him up. Uh, no, I wasn't sleeping, I swear. <laughs> yeah, sure. Anyway, that was nice and easy. Yeah, I was going to say, I, my store, my satchel's full, but thankfully it automatically moved it to storage, which is excellent. Right, on that note, let's actually sort out my inventory. Well, I've got enough medicinal leaks to finish off that one request, although that's still an awful lot to sacrifice in terms of items. Anyway, sand radish. Is that the item I need for, to um, advance that uh, particular request? Or is it a different item? But either way, let me just, well, first of all, heal my Pokemon. Probably didn't need to heal, like, properly heal my Pokemon like I did then, but you know what? It's fine. In the meantime, let's now uh, skip time. There we go, and the snow has stopped. Talk to you. Uh, no, 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 I don't want to rest. I want to... Oh, my God, come on. Stop. Come on, game. Thank you. Uh, I Well, I want to do some shopping because I have a star piece to sell. That's a nice, easy five grand. And apparently, I've also got one in my, in my box. Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, we'll sell that. Cool. Anything else I could sell? Let's have a look. Nothing major, but I do have some experience candies, which is going to be pretty nice. Um, but other than that, looks like I don't have much else to give you. So instead, now let's go and see my Pokemon. And now it's just a case of trying to find the Riolu. I could bring Heracross instead. Hmm. But no, I quite like the idea of having a Riolu. Uh, where is it? Where's the Riolu? Oh god, I did, I did organise the, uh, my Pokemon pastures, but even then I don't know where it's gone. It should be around, oh, there you are. Oh man, that took, that took stupidly long to try and find you. Anyway, you know what, Riolu, you are going to join the team. Hmm, question is, who am I going to say goodbye to? Oh, mind you, I forgot Sneasel is a part fighting type. Hmm. Might be worth keeping these two on on hand right now. Who am I not likely to need right now? Honestly, I probably won't really need Empoleon right now. Because there is definitely some use for Torterra, especially if I go and ca try and catch some more Electabuzz. So you know what? I'm going to temporarily say goodbye to Empoleon. But we'll keep uh, Torterra for now, and I will keep Sneasel, because I did kind of forget that you're not actually part fighting type and part poison type, so you could potentially be helpful if we end up battling against Avalug eventually. But we will see regardless. Also, there's that Mischievous. And, yeah, I think we'll go from there, really. Um, I do want to talk to Lavender. Just out of curiosity, how much data do I need, do I have? I have 22 that might be enough to uh, rank up. We'll see. Anyway, let's bring out Riolu. Hey, little buddy. <laughs> oh, so glad to finally have a Riolu. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> cool. I think we'll be good friends, Riolu. But, you know what? I think now is a good time for me to wrap up this episode. So, honestly... Kind of a pretty cool, like, experience so far in this area. Seeing some interesting Pokemon and also got to see another space-time distortion. So that's really cool. And already got on a second base setup, which is awesome. But, uh, yeah, there's still an awful lot of uh, this area to explore. Although, having said that, I've actually already accidentally explored a lot of it already. There's just a little bit around here. And, of course... We've got what looks like, uh, what was it, the, one of the uh, clan uh, uh, settlements over here. And of course we've got uh, Lake Acuity. 
So we still got quite a bit to explore. But I suspect I might have enough I might have enough experience to level up uh, to rank up rather, so I might do that uh, at the beginning of the next episode and see whether it's all good in terms of ranking up. But either way, we'll probably do some more exploring around here next time. And again, we'll just take it from there, really. So, on that note, thanks very much for watching, everyone. And until next time, I shall catch you all later.